More allegations of unauthorised exorcisms and concerns about the well-being of young people have emerged at a small Catholic chapel in Christchurch. One man told News Hub he'd had two exorcisms without permission from a bishop, as church rules require. He also claims to have helped counsel three people after they left the group who were, in his words, absolutely destroyed psychologically. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has this exclusive report. A group of former members of a congregation known as the Sons of the Most Holy Redeemer. These men and women are united in their concerns. Did you have an exorcism yourself? Yes, I too. And was permission given from the bishop for either? No. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. This man, who we'll call David, mm. claims the exorcisms were full of puffery and theatre and says he wasn't alone. In my situation, I would count that I knew had exorcisms of about a dozen. He says his exorcisms were performed by a priest who's since left the order, but he believes current leaders, Father Michael Mary and Anthony Mary, who preach at this chapel in St Albans, knew they were occurring. Father Michael denies this, telling News Hub the priest was never a member of our community. If he did illegal exorcisms, I have no knowledge of it. But our source does not buy this. The order um, is a law unto itself. They're above the, the law. They don't respect the bishop or anyone else. That sense of privilege must be removed. He says he helped three other people who left the sons. And how would you describe their mental state after leaving? Absolutely destroyed. Like others we have interviewed, he claims leaders interfered in family life in an attempt to grow their order. His own daughter was visited at their family home and encouraged to become a nun. One daughter, yes. It was a recruitment attempt at a recruitment. Father Michael says they have no recruitment policy or officer. But this woman, Eva, shares similar concerns about child well-being. The young children were being very much groomed to become priests. So enter into the order they were dressing as mini priests, especially the boys. These photos show young boys dressed as monks stacking wood while on a so-called retreat in 2020. Father Michael says these are altar boys. Some as young as five and six, they choose to become altar boys with their parents' permission. And their child safety policy is one of the best. And altar boys change in their own separate changing room and we have a child safety officer. But Eva says, in her mind, leaders Michael and Anthony are spiritually abusive. People put themselves in their hands, they trust them, they're guided, and therein lies the danger. Therein lies the cult-like behaviour. She too was asked to participate in an exorcism she refused, but she says she did stumble across one being performed. I didn't visually see it, I only got to the point where I heard it. What did you hear? Um, loud voices, yeah, quite a lot of aggression. Christchurch Bishop Michael Geelan has previously stated we take seriously the concerns expressed by former members of the community. After my investigation on Paddy Gower has issues in July, Geelan suspended all priests in his area from doing exorcisms, pending a review. Michael Mora, News Hub.